if a particular number is mentioned in the Quran or the Sunnah, do we have to stop at that number or can we increase above that number? We have to look at the, uh, at the other evidences of the Quran and the Sunnah. And if, and if we find from the other evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah that there are more than the number of those issues which are mentioned, then that means that that number which was mentioned in one particular evidence, it does not, lim it does not limit the issue. However, if we find from the other evidences of the Quran and the Sunnah that no further issues are mentioned above what has been enumerated, then that means that that number, it limits the number of issues. To give a, an, a, an example, the Arkan or the pillars of Islam are five. And we researched the other evidences of the Quran and the Sunnah and we found that there are no more pillars of Islam. And therefore the number five, it limits the pillars of Islam to five only. And also the six pillars of Iman. They also limit the pillars of Iman to six only. And also the doors of Jannah or the gates of Jannah, they are limited. However, the 10 people who were given the glad tidings of Jannah and they were named as 10. If we look at the evidences of the Quran and the Sunnah, do we find other people in addition to those 10 who were also given the glad tidings of paradise during their lifetime? Yes, we do. And therefore, limiting those people who are given the glad tidings to paradise during their lifetime to 10 only, we cannot do this. So why is it that if there are more than 10 people who are given the glad tidings to Jannah and we cannot limit those people to 10 only, then why did the Prophet wasallam mention 10 people and he mentioned that number 10 who were given the glad, glad tidings to Jannah? So this was because the method of the Prophet ﷺ in teaching the Sahaba and how effective this method was. That those people, they know to memorize at least 10, those 10. It's like, for example, and so if the Prophet ﷺ left the city and the Sahaba left the city, they have that number in their mind that they are 10 and they can enumerate who those 10 people are. It's like, for example, when we're teaching, we'll say, memorize three benefits from the lesson even though there are more than three benefits in the lesson but we limit it to three as a method of teaching so it's easy to memorize and recall and so the author of the treaties and imam muhammad ibn abdul wahab rahimullah he utilizes the prophetic method of teaching and this is why he wrote various treaties and he said al qawaid al arba the four important principles and al-usul athlath and the three fundamental principles. So he mentions numbers like the Prophet sallallahu used to do so. Of course, the three principles which relate to the three questions in the grave, they're limited to three. As for the ten invalidates of Islam, the invalidates of Islam are not limited to ten, there are more. 